Eyes are on February 27th, Rajya Sabha elections with the final round of nominations having concluded. Now, 56 seats of the upper house will go to polls to fill up vacancies that will arise in April. Now, it's a battle of 15 states. Uh, these seats are spread across uh, UP, Karnataka and Himachal Pradesh and also Uttar Pradesh. 11 candidates for 10 seats, Rajya Sabha seats. Karnataka, 5 candidates for 4 Rajya Sabha seats. Himachal Pradesh, BJP has forced contest on the lone seat. Let me uh, go across uh, to my reporter, uh, uh, to my colleague uh, Pratibha joining us uh, uh, from Bengaluru, also Ranveer joining us from uh, UP and Ghazali joining us uh, uh, from Himachal. Uh, uh, starting with you, Ranveer, uh, you know, with Akhilesh Yadav, uh, Yadav's party having, you know, I mean, while Akhilesh Yadav's party has the numbers to send three candidates to Rajya Sabha, now we see the BJP is pinning hopes on cross-voting from Samajwadi Party to make its eighth candidate, which is Sanjay Seth, who was seen as a surprise candidate, sail through. How are the numbers stacking up in Uttar Pradesh? Uh, at per sources, Samajwadi Party's eight to ten MLAs can vote for Bharti Janata Party, and BJP is confident that the eighth candidate, Sanjay Seth, is going to win tomorrow in the Rajya Sabha election. I spoke to some of the MLAs of the Samajwadi Party and they agreed on phone that they are going to vote for Bharti Janata Party. And uh, in the afternoon, I met uh, Bhupen Chaudhary, who is the state chief of Bharti Janata Party. He claimed that we have sufficient numbers and we will win uh, tomorrow in the Rajya Sabha. And also I met some uh, ministers who are claiming that we have sufficient number and whatever number we want, that will be available in uh, Rasabha polls because so many Samajwadi parties, MLAs are angry over the party's strategy and that's why they are all set to vote for Bharti Janata Party. So sources claims that 8 to 10 MLAs who are not, uh, who were not uh, in, uh, in the meeting of this, this Samajwadi Party at this uh, office and here uh, uh, Akhilesh Adam is present and other MLAs were also present so but uh, 6 to 7 uh, MLAs were absent and they are all set to vote for Bharti Janata Party tomorrow so uh, th this will be a big setback for Samajwadi Party as a uh, few days back RLD broke the uh, alliance with Sapa and now uh, some SP MLAs are all set they are in touch with the Bharti right. Janata Party top leadership and they will vote for uh, Sanjay Seth. Okay. On to Karnataka now. Pratibha, resort politics seems to be coming back uh, to Karnataka. How comfortable is the Congress, BJP and also the JDS? Because, you know, uh, uh, we did hear what DK Shivakumar talked about uh, uh, Kumar Sami. Well, as far as uh, the Congress is concerned, like you rightly pointed out, all roads seem to be heading to Hotel uh, Hilton at uh, Bengaluru's Thani Sandra. Now, this is mainly because initially the Congress, uh, the numbers that you uh, saw uh, stood at around 138, which is exactly what was needed for three candidates that were nominated by the Congress as well as others. So this includes Congress MLAs as well as uh, independent MLAs. But now with the sudden demise of uh, one Congress MLA, the number falls uh, 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 one short and that is 137. But as far as uh, the BJP JDS combined, that is the NDA is concerned in Karnataka, they have uh, nominated two candidates and one of the candidates that is uh, the fifth candidate, which is the surprising uh, candidate that has been nominated by the NDA, uh, falls short of seven votes. Now this will give rise to five candidates in the fray for four seats and that will give rise to cross voting which is precisely why the Congress wants to ensure that this becomes a prestige issue for them especially after the sweeping victory of the Congress in the recent Karnataka Assembly election and uh, that is why they want to keep their flock together at the Hilton Hotel and uh, soon after the Congress Legislative Party uh, meeting that is underway right, right now uh, they will all be staying at the Hilton Hotel and tomorrow they will all head to the Rajya Sabha election. Right. All eyes are on this fifth candidate and the cross-voting that could perhaps take place. Right. Ghazali, so we saw the BJP springing a surprise by fielding former Minister Harsh uh, Mahajan, uh, who had joined the party in 2022 ahead of the st State Assembly polls. Now, uh, you know, this is against, of course, Congress Abhishek Manu Singhvi. Congress has 40 MLAs in the 68-member House. Where are the ind independents headed and how does uh, Himachal Pradesh numbers look like right now? See, in the 68-member House, uh, Congress has majority, like 40 MLAs are with Congress, 25 are with BJP, 
and three are independents. Out of those three independents, two are BJP rebels, and that's why they contested independent as an independent candidate and won the MLA elections. But what is surprising is that BJP has been outrightly saying that despite not having the numbers, they are banking on the resentment among the Congress MLAs. And one of the Congress MLAs, Rajinder Rana, openly said that he may consider. Uh, uh, he is upset about no cabinet expansion. Now, this is uh, as far as the numbers are concerned, Congress is safe with 40 M MLAs and they need just 35 votes. But by throwing uh, Mr. Mahajan, uh, by Mr. Mahajan, by throwing his hat in the ring has made the contest very interesting. And, uh, and, and everybody is uh, what they are concerned about that they may not see a ripple effect of Chandigarh's mayoral poll. We saw what happened that despite not having the numbers, BJP managed to win the elections. Then the polls went into the courts and the Supreme Court appointed or sort of declared the Congress AAP candidate, a joint candidate as the mayor. So everybody is hopeful. Uh, it, it's also a litmus test or leadership skill test of Mr. Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu that whether he manages to keep his flock together. And right. that is why he's also like the party has also issued a whip that all the uh, 40 MLAs have to be there in, in the assembly tomorrow.